Hey, hey, hey there, everybody. It's Zelda Savior here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we completed Dodongo's Cavern and went on a dino slaying rampage, defeating King Dodongo and getting the Spiritual Stone of Fire from Darunia. We also became his swan brother. Kind of, kind of, kind of I don't really know what to think about it very much, friends. It was kind of a weird thing. But we got our second spiritual stone of three. Only one more to find. But we were told by Darunia after freeing his people from the oppression of Dodongos. I don't, were they being oppressed? They weren't really being oppressed. That's a bad word, friends. They were being withheld. Withheld from their food source. Anyway, we were told by... <coughs> Sorry, friends. I Before I say anything, actually, I need to preface this entire video my I'm it, ugh, can't speak it is currently change of season time and as probably many of you understand change of season time brings about sickness my throat is not feeling 100% so I do apologize if my voice sounds a little bit different and also if I cough that's gonna be the hard part friends but we're doing this anyway we're getting this show on the road we cannot wait for silly things like sickness and explosions in our face. That's not very good. Try again. Go bomb! Oh, perfect. You're... What? What? Why would you roll off that edge, Link? You're foolish. You're a foolish child. You should have jumped like that. Jeez. You can only learn so much from a young whoop a snapper like Link. He's not a very smart person. Let's... What is in here? I forget what is in here. Let's go. Do -do -do -do. What's in the hole? Oh, it's a moo cow! Hello, moo cow. Hello. You're so nice. Hello, cow. Oh, he's looking at me. He wants to be my friend. Why are you attacking him, Link? You're brutal. You're a brutal old devious punk. We cannot do anything with cows right now, friends. We can come back and talk to these cows later on and actually get something out of them if we needed to. But we can't. We don't have the necessary ness. You could say, for lack of a better word, friends. But anyway. As I was trying to explain earlier, we were instructed to go up Death Mountain and visit the great fairy that lies at the top. So we're gonna do just as such. Let's let's go on an adventure. This looks pretty easy. Just run along. Oh, 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 oh god! Oh god! Oh! I get what you're doing, game. Yes, friends, this is the one, one of the main reasons why getting the Hylian Shield is kind of nice for young Link. Is when you go up the mountain for the very first time, you avoid a lot of unnecessary damage by these falling rocks. You can literally just run up this hill. You take a pretty small amount of damage from the rocks. I think a half heart minimum, maybe maximum at all costs. It's really not that detrimental. We only got hit twice. Not a huge deal. So yeah, it does about a half heart. But see, we've made it. As long as you make it up to this wall right here, you're safe. You can't get hurt anymore. So, but it's kind of nice to have the Hylian Shield for that. You take a little bit less damage. But there's uh, many other useful for it that we already showed in earlier videos. But anyway, let us begin by shooting these wall skulltulas. Walltulas, maybe you can call them. Slang term for a little bit of hip youngster slang in there. Call them skull walls. Walltulas. Skull walltulas. Hey, yo, got my skull walk to love up on that wall. No, we're not going to be like that. Anyway, let us shoot the last one. These are a little, little tricky songs we're going. There you go, boy. Let's climb this wall up and get to the top of the mountain. Let's climb this mountain. See what we have at the top. We need to boost my morale surviving out in these dangerous death mountain environments. This is Link vs. Wild. Oh, was this all kind of a sick joke? Did you just invite me up here to... Did you just tell me to come up here so I could talk to you again? Ah, you turn me into the scoff master again, bro. Anyway, let's destroy this gross looking wall. Maybe we'll find the... Ooh. What's in here? Is it in here, bro? You wanna... I think you wanna say something to me, dude. You're just like, looking at me like that. Oh, oh, what? You looking at me? You looking at me with those creepy bad eyes? Look at, look at you! Look at you! I hate you! I hate everything about you, man! Let's go inside this dark cave and get away from that awful owl himself. He's ugh. ooh! Oh yeah! I love this music, bro! Oh my god! 
Who am I calling, bro? I don't even know. Woo! I love this place. This place is actually always really like. Oh, and then it got really bright in here. Oh goodness. Oh god. It's like walking into a, a dark room and having someone turn all the lights on. You're like, uh, 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 can't see, can't, can't see. Anyway, let's pull out our uh, little fancy flutey flute, uh, green flute thing, because apparently. The crest of the royal family of Hyrule is inscribed here, so, hmm, what have we done in the past where we've had the, uh, the Hylian seal? Let's play, uh, Zelda Sleep Time. Zelda Sleep, Sleepy Time, I can't sing because my voice is a poop. Oh, baby. Lady! Hey there! Welcome, Link! I am the Great Fairy of Power! Oh! You certainly got a lot of power somewhere there, sweetheart. Wow, why did I just say that? Anyway, I'm going to grant you a sword technique! Receive it now! Oh my goodness! Oh, where is. Whoa, where's that power coming from? Somewhere that. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. What? Oh god. What, what are you doing to me? What are you spraying on me, man? I need adult. Oh, I don't feel safe. Oh god. Oh. But it seems we've gotten something magic. You've mastered the secret sword technique of the spin attack. Hold B to charge your weapon. Release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to research energy without charging your weapon, just rotate the controls at once and press B for a very first spin. Why did that voice that voice become like the Bane voice? I wondered which would break first. Now, when you charge your power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in for a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you another new power. I can't do female voices with my throat like this, so she has like a manly voice. I don't even know what I'm doing. When battle has made you wear it, please come back to see me. All right there, scary great fairy naked lady. Yeah, that was the great fairy. Everyone knows the great fairy for having pointed, pointed boobies. I said it. I said it. I wasn't going to say it, but we all know that's why we know her. We all know her and love her. Everyone knows she got pointed boobies. Anyway, let's forget about that stupid thing. Let's focus on our new ability. We got the spin attack, friends. Yes, the ever-loving green magic meter has now appeared below our hearts. Ever so wonderful, friends. So if we take out our sword and hold the B button, we charge our sword up twice and have a big ol' spin attack. Oh yeah, baby, spin attacks. Spin attacks are very effective. We can mash those spin attacks for some highly effective damage on enemies all around us. One thing it also said is we rotate the control stick and press B, we can do quick spin attacks. These are actually a very good way to deal quick damage to enemies all around us. You'll see me using that technique more than I used to. I learned it fairly recently. But anyway, unfortunately for us, the owl is actually here for a good reason, friends. I told- I made it seem like he was here for no reason, but he's here for a good reason. Let's talk to him and find out why he is here. Oh, dude, well, it looks like you've grown up a little bit from the Great Fairy's power. Was that a sexual reference? But you still don't really have looked like the hero who saved Hyrule. At least not yet. If you are going back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my tail. That also sounds incredibly sexual. Oh god, I don't want to grab your talons, bro. That. Oh, I'm grabbing his talons. Oh, is that what they call it nowadays? No, friends, he's actually kind of helpful. He carries us all the way down Death Mountain. All the way back to Kakariko Village of all places. The place where we need to go, actually, for uh, one last little pit stop. But the bestest, best thing you'll find out about why he brings us back and why it's so good is that it puts us off on the roof of a particular house. However, if we walk our cute little took us on over this way, we see a little platform down there. You see a little platform down? You see it? You see it right there? You see it? You see it? If we carefully drop down, a secret door. Another Moo Cow! Hello, Moo Cow! But more importantly, 
You've got a piece of heart. Yes, we've had another piece of heart, friends. This is actually kind of a sequence break. You're normally not supposed to be able to get up to this point with uh, Kid Link, but if you use the owl at the top of Death the Mountain, he drops you off on the roof of that house, allowing you to get access to that piece of heart way earlier in the game. Normally, you have to uh, have a certain item we don't even have possession of yet. But anyway, now that we've done that, let us continue forth. We've now got the second spiritual stone, so we can now actually move on to find the third spiritual stone and go to the third area of the game. However... Once again, interrupting things with more things. There's actually one thing I want to do before we go to Kak- or, uh, we're already in Kakariko Village. Why am I saying we gotta go there? There's one thing I want to do- Oh god! Skeletons! 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 Don't worry, they're not scary. I am no longer afraid of such foolish fools. Only foolish fools foolishly dare to foolishly attack me foolishly. But as I was saying, we have one more place I need to go to before we continue forth on our epic journey. For there's a place in the middle, you can see it in the distance. In the distance! That we haven't gone to yet. And I think you remember meeting, uh, young little Malin and her father. Talon, oh no. Is his Talon? I think his name's Ta Talon or whatever it is. Yeah, he's a... Uh, they live in this ranch up here. We never go, we never went there. So I think it's about high time we, uh, investigated this, uh, little heat, little, little piece of farm village down here. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Lone Lone Ranch. Yep, friends, we in the ranch. We're in the farmlands now. Let me just throw on this terribly, terribly stereotypical country boy accent. Probably not even that good. Yep, shucks, friends. We're in the we're in a country now. Let's just run on over and investigate everything. There's actually one big thing I need to go investigate right now. We have to uh, we gotta get some priority going on right here. If we run around this track, the inside of this track being the uh, the horse pen, keep they keep the uh, keep the horses, the caballos, as they call them in uh, the Spanish Spanish horse caballo. With that double L and the yeah sound. I don't speak Spanish. So I'll, I'm going to stop speaking like that because that's actually starting to sound really bad in my head. Anyway, we have uh, some more moo cows. Oh, moo cows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those cows like sucked me up into their like. Whoa. Whoa. It's like. Whoa. It's like it gives you a little bit of resistance and then it like shoots you through. That's kind of funny. Anyway. With more moo cows being exposed to us daily, we need to uh, play a little block moving game right here, friends. We gotta move some blocks. I can't move that block. Okay. Um, hmm. Seems we've reached an impasse. No, we haven't. I lied, friends. We did not reach an impasse. I think we can, can we go through here. Squeeze. Yes, we can squeeze our little body through here. We can squeeze our. <coughs> Excuse me, friends. Squeeze our little young selves in these. Uh, did I. What am I doing? Does this does this work? Oh goodness, I don't even know this puzzle. Um alright, let's think. Let's use our brains, friends. That sounds like a good idea. Can I Oh I can't. Perfect. Oh here we go. I think this will work. Uh will it? Maybe. Okay, well now I just made a big old box around the, the thing. Can I do this? Push this thing. Maybe. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Pull you out a little bit. Slide you, push you forward. Oh my gosh, friends, I think, I think, by Jove, I think maybe, maybe I got it. Once again, now there's just a big old hole around everything. Um, should have practiced this before. No, I can't move any of these blocks now because that one's in the middle. All right. Well, first let's let's try to fix ourselves here, youngins. Let's let us do this. What am I doing? What are you doing? Hell, if I know. All right. Now let's. Ooh, wait. 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 No. No. Oh, I can jump up this. Wait, wait, okay. Well, let me just let me just do this then. 
Just jump up the damn things, you fool. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I didn't know I could jump on them. I am such a derp. Anyway, let's crawl in the... <gasps> You got another piece of heart! Nice, we've now collected three pieces. Almost another heart container is gonna be formed, friends. That's two pieces of heart this episode. We are just on fire. We are so hot. You call it hot, hot, hot. Name me. Oh, my, 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 my commentator spirit just wants to make me sing, but I can't sing. My throat, my throat is so parched. But anyway, <coughs> excuse me again. I probably should edit out those coughs. I might do that. I might do that, which might make that area sound strange. There's just nothing there. Anyway, let us go inside. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Imagine if a horse just like galloped, like full speed galloped past you as you were running. That'd be terrifying. Oh my gosh, that'd be so scary. Anyway, <gasps> lady, 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 lady. Hey, oh, horse lady. What's going on, cutie? Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? <laughs> wow, my voice is actually able to go higher with this throat thing. <laughs> dad came home in a hurry after you found me. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Apoa. Isn't she cute? Oh, she's adorable. Oh, she's running away. Look what you, look what you did. You scared her. She's shy. You should have let me talk to her. I got the moves, lady. It seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. I want that horse. I want to be best friends with that horse. You gotta, you gotta set me up with that horse girl. I want her. I want to be best friends with that girl. That horse girl. I rather compose the song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Oh, that's a nice song. I do like that little tune there. Let's play together, yo. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you gonna play the song with the ocarina? Yes, friends, it seems now Epona can't get her hooves off me. <laughs> yes, friends, we've just learned Epona's song. One of my favorite songs in the series. I love the little tune of Epona's song. Damn, Link. Oh, and there she goes. Yes, Epona is a sweetheart. She's so cute. I love Epona. But anyway, we now have the song that draws Epona towards us. It makes her like us more. It makes her feel comfortable around us, which I guess will be good. We can't really keep her now. She's still kind of young, so we should probably let her grow up a little bit before we really uh, take her by the reins and train her to be a riding horse, like the other horses of this uh, particular ranch here. She'll be a pretty good horse if I do say so myself. Anyway, that is two of the three important things we have done here so far. There's one last thing I need to accomplish while I'm here, and it involves going inside their little house here with... What, what language is that? Is that Hylian? What does that say? It it looks like it says it, in English. That looks like an English X E X. Shex, cause it's a kex kex, or is it the shex? Cause I know X in some languages has a sh sound. Is it shesh shesh shex? Is this a sex place? Oh my gosh, please! Oh goodness, I was gonna make a terrible sexual innuendo there, friend. But we're not gonna go there, cause that. That is not kosher on my channel. Either. Anyway, let's talk to the old fart here. Let's what he's got to say to himself. He's sleeping as sleeping like always. Hello, hey there, Mario. What's going on? I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll pray for the eighth forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. So what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. I'm gonna throw these cuckoos into that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. 
If you can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit, I'll give you something good. Well, that sounds kind of nice. I like something good. You can't, Patrick. <coughs> oh, God, voices. There are ten rubies on the plate. We have a lot of money to spend, so let's do it, guys. All right, you got 30 seconds. All right, then get ready. Here go the super cuckoos. Start looking. Alrighty, friends. Yes, one thing to always keep in mind for this game is to position yourself when you start it in an area that allows you to see where he throws the cuckoos. As you can see, I clearly was able to see the first one being thrown. Now let's... Oh, that was pure luck. Alright, we managed to grab the second cuckoo right off the bat. Oh, goodness. Okay, this comes down to a, a bit of luck now. I'm just going to start guessing until I find this last cuckoo. Alright, it's none of these four... Don't target them, damn it. No. Is it you? You're the super. Are you? Is it you? Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? We got time! Oh my gosh! Please! Is you? No! Ah no! We got the first two so quickly. The third one was in our grasp. Ah! And we're just feeding him money right now. We're just giving him. We're just giving him the cash flow. We can try again for five rupees. Let's keep going. Um, I might start. Uh, we'll show the second one. I might start cutting these out eventually if it takes me a little too long. It might take me a bit of time, because this is actually a fairly tricky game. I see the second one. See the second one over here. Set this guy. Yeah, there we go. The third one is over here somewhere. So let's just start picking these guys up. There we go. That didn't take too long. The first two are usually pretty easy to get, and the third one is usually just a little bit of luck. They do move faster, um, hence the name Super Cuckoos. Their motions are a little bit twitchy or a little bit faster, so you can see them through those means, but I like to just grab and don't waste the time with it. Anyway, golly, I'll be darned. That's plum incredible. That's the last one. You found them all. Come on over here. Hey. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, my... That was the... You just throw that question out at someone? I expect the dialogue, so it just makes it seem like he asked the question out of the blue. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Anyway. Would you like to marry Malin? Ooh, there's so many ladies in the world, yo. I, I can't make up my mind just yet. She's, she's really cute, though. I like her a lot, but... I gotta be honest. I, 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 I guess I'd like to. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> oh, he. Oh, he was just kidding. Oh, oh, me too. Oh, well, yeah, I was kidding too. I wasn't being. I was being serious. You thought I was being serious. You did. You just thought I was being serious, didn't you? I wasn't. Anyway, <laughs> I was just kidding. Just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? Oh, I'm proud to present you a sample of our very own La La milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. Yes, friends, the reason why we did that was to get a bottle of Lon Lon milk. Very nutritious. We can use it to recover our life with C. It's another bottle, essentially. So, yes, friends, as I just stated, it is a second empty bottle, per se, but we get it filled with Lon Lon milk. So, we have now two bottles in our inventory. Oh my goodness, we are just on fire! So much we collected in this episode today, friends. Anyway, I am going to begin the journey to the third area, but I don't think I'm going to continue on too, too much. I think we might need to uh, know when to call it for the day, because you know what? They say that at the end of the day, you might want to just pay a visit to the gray, wise elder man who sits at the top of the bay all day trying to say that he may be the one to tell you that if you want to have a happy and now I'm like <laughs> I, I was I was using the same words over and over again for that rhyme sequence friends. anyway in the next episode of let's play legends of the ocarina of time we are going to begin trekking towards the third area of the game which is actually right up here. You read the sign real fast. Zora's River. Watch out for swift current and strong undertow. Yes, friends, as I said, we're going to begin going into the third area of the game, beginning in Zora's River, and seeing where this beautiful river takes us. If you haven't done so already, 
feel free to subscribe to my channel and leave a like and a comment down below to show your support. It means the world to me to see those comments, guys, and those likes. And with that, friends, I will see you all in the next episode. I hope you're all having a wonderful day.